<laughs> Aquafunk is on the move, about to scoop me up some new fish. So pretty much you guys probably know that I've been rocking those New World cichlids, Angels, Central American cichlids, you know. But there's a fish that I haven't had in over 20 years that I, I, I've always wanted to get again. But I've been hung up on this whole, oh, they're from this region and that's from that region. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's like, whatever, man. So um, not to mention the fish that I'm trying to get, it's an oddball fish. Which means, you know, the, the, it doesn't really necessarily have a distinct set parameters as far as tank baits go. Plus, <laughs> it'll probably uh, creep my family out. So, you know. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm at Consolidated Fish Farm. Um, I just wanted you guys to see a couple of the fish that he got going on. Um, some Lalupe. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And just so that you guys know. Um, I am affiliated with Consolidated Fish Farm. There is going to be a link in the description below. If you do order, you can get 10% off your purchase by using the promo code. I believe it's like Aquafunk10. I can't remember. It's, it's in the description. Go check them out. These are these are uh, some trophies he's got. I wish I got a better shot. It's a little far away. But um, these are some... Um, I actually have these. They're a type of Acara and Dino Acara. They're, they're awesome, awesome fish. I'm really happy that the, the fish that I'm getting are going with them and a couple others that are similar um, in nature. They're all Central American cichlids. Yeah, I'm putting them in a Central American cichlid. Look at this crazy dude right here. Look at that. That's some type of eel. I believe it's from Africa. You know, at one point I didn't know the name of this, but look at it. <laughs> look at it. It's so cool. This is definitely an oddball fish. I would love to one day have a tank of just oddball fish oh he would definitely what's the name of this if you guys know the name of this put it put it in the description below I, I would really really appreciate it this next fish coming up what is it i can't remember yeah the ob peacocks i definitely one day i want to do a, a, a like a 120 of just ob peacocks i'm not real big on african cichlids but i think a whole tank of just male ob peacocks up there these are blueberries and so I don't know what they, they there's something. And these these are cool. These are um like veil tail or layered tail um sore tails. Now <laughs> here's the funny thing about these. You see that long fin down at the bottom? Yeah, that's not a fin. That is his gonopodium, aka his junk. He's blessed. I wouldn't even how do you how how would you put your pants on? These these are um peacock gungeons. I've never had peacock gungeons, but these guys seem very, very personal. I might want if I did a planted tank, I would definitely do peacock gungeons. Check these guys out. They're all up in my business, you know. I kind of like that about cichlids. They're not they're personable, you know. The little fish don't normally are as they're not normally as personable, but those peacock gungeons were. And I'm definitely getting check him out. The the snowball or platinum or white um lobster um crayfish i got the electric blues but um, he's coming home with me you coming home with me buddy say your goodbyes later yeah and these are some um rams he never look if y'all see rams he has some really really awesome where they go where they go if you see rams on his list get them because they don't last long come back you sorry sex so as uh, a lot of you probably figured out from thumbnail it is um a bicer actually three bicers i i i um i got two from consolidated fish farms and i got one from a friend of mine who also i think got it from consolidated fish farms and and here here's the reason why i'm going with the bicers um the this one is actually called the polyrupturus um del hezai um which there's a bunch of different types of bicers out there and they all range um in sizes from uh a foot roughly to up to i think i think there's one that's out there three feet and this one that i get actually um i, I believe this one is gonna get and be in between 12 and 16 inches let me let me explain to you why i say that um and why i'm hesitant over size so normally you know if, you, if you're accustomed to my channel you know that i don't really like to talk to talk about fish that I don't have first-hand knowledge of that I could give you my own personal thoughts. Well, this fish is a little bit different because I've had the um, the Senegal, 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 
buy shirt in the past. Now that one grows a little bit. That one grows smaller. It's the one that's uh, most readily um, sold in a lot of um, mom and pop fish stores. Excuse me. And uh, but that was a that was a while ago. It, it was a long time ago. It's been a long time. In fact, I've been bouncing around with getting another bicer for almost a year, and it wasn't until I saw a, a short from um, Haley from Oddball Aquatics on hers that I was like, man, you know what? Just I'm just gonna do it. Um, like I said, I was hung up on the whole keeping fish in the same regions together, but it's an oddball fish, right? It's considered oddball fish. So I figured, you know what? Eh, eh, why not? You know what I'm saying? I want I want to be specific and let you know it's the Del His Eye Bicer. Now, because because like I said, I, I like I like talking you know from direct experience because it's been so long. I had to brush up, and I was reading around online, and I kept finding a lot of discrepancies according to size. One one said that they get 12 inches long, but in captivity they really only get eight. Another one said they get three feet long, something like that. And I realized what was going on. What's going on is people are mixing up the individual types of bicers from the the Senegal to the Del Hizai and I forget the one that gets really, really big. So I went ahead and uh, I, I looked on, on a lot of YouTube videos concerning theirs, not because I wanted to hear what they had to say, but I wanted to take a look at their fish. That's my daughter. That's why we can't have nice things. Y'all. She can break everything. She's a, she's a, she's a beast. At any rate, <clears throat> so I wanted to take a look at their fish. In real, you know, as, as they are um, alive, not just a still picture. And all the ones that I've seen have been at least a foot long. Oh, maybe better. It's hard to tell sometimes, you know, depth perception when it comes to videos is kind of difficult. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know, this one's going to be in between um, a foot and 16 inches, 12 inches, 16 inches. I got three of them. And the reason why I got three of them is I also read that they are social animals. And um, I know when I used to work at a pet store, whenever we had bichers, they would lay on top of each other like a, like, like a Indiana Jones snake pit type deal. And I, I thought that was kind of neat. And they're very curious. I do remember the, the Senegal one that I had was very curious. It, 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 it. It explored a lot. Now these guys, <laughs> that can be problematic. The whole exploring thing, because um, these guys, man, I got bit up. I was outside. I got bit. Up. I got a mosquito bite right on the top of my head, right there. Um, these guys have lungs. Now, when you add the fact that they can breathe air, and they're curious, then you have an issue where they could possibly climb out the tank. That's why when you, if you get any type of bicher. You have to make sure that you have a nicely sealed top because they will get out. Now, I remember I did get, I, when I did have my Senegals, they, they would climb out and I, but I, I can, uh, they were, they were, um, a, I was able to put them back in because they can spend quite a amount of time outside of the water as long as they stay somewhat moist and their scales aid in that. Their scales are, you know, thick, heavy scales that aid in keeping in moisture. In fact, in the wild, they, they actually travel outside of land and, and you know, different water, get, get to different waterways and whatnot. Their two pectoral fins, um, the rays on them are very thick and they're kind of round paddly type. Um, they use those as, as to walk, you know, like, or scoot. Oh, I almost took a, a beverage sip. Feeding, they, they, they are carnivorous. They are ambush hunters. But they're not real picky at food. But food could be problematic in certain tanks. This particular tank, it is. I do have to do a little bit extra feed. For instance, I have to feed at night with the lights off. They have very, very good smelling abilities. Those two little things that hang out the front of their nose, um, awesome for smelling. Because um, they come from murky water, right? So they can sniff really good. When I try to feed them in the daytime, I use... I try to use um, these this food right here. You know, it's a carnivorous type sinking pellet, and those are floating pellets. When I got them from from um, Consolidated, he says they was eating floating pellets, so they do have the ability to go, you know, travel and, and find their food. But with these fish in here, food don't last long enough for them to find it. So feeding them at night would would ensure that they they get a bite. You know what I mean? They love frozen. Love it. Love, 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 love it. Um, quick quiz. If, if any of you can tell me where 
in Africa? Where in the Congo River? Because they do come from the Congo River. If you could tell me what region of Africa the Congo River is, is in, then then I will. And the first one to to write the comment correctly, I will talk. I have, I'm good friends with Gary Busey, right? Me and Gary Busey, we go way back, right? We used to be drinking buddies, and uh. I'll talk to him. I don't know if he's going to do it, but if the first one who writes the right the right answer, um, I'll, I'll see if Gary Busey won't show up at your next birthday party and sing um, happy birthday to you and give you Eskimo kisses. He's calling me. So, um, they're not pricks, right? But they ain't no punks either. You know, they ain't going to cause no trouble, but they ain't going to really... Um, let you just 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 punk them. So, uh, semi-aggressive cichlids that grow no more than eight ten inches at first, because like I said, they, I'm thinking it's gonna get six six in between twelve. So let's just let's just half it thirteen inches. Thirteen half in between. Uh, let's say let's say fourteen inches long. All right, that's a pretty decent sized fish. I want to see these guys get big. I want to see them be all on top of each other chilling. It'd be cool if you get them to breed. Apparently, they're really hard to get breed in captivity. They're egg scatterers, apparently. But we'll see. We'll see. But for right now, I'm really digging these fish. I can't wait till they start feeling more comfortable enough to start swimming across in the daytime so I can watch them, right? Anyway, that's my time. Like always, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your fish.